Hello guys my name is Subzero Xtabite and today we are going to do some scary stuff I hope you are ready. We all remember Bendy right well we are going to look for her and see if we can make contact. I am so scared at the moment but that won't stop me for doing my thing so let's go I want to tell you guys something first to prepare you to what you are going to see in just these epic 15 minutes. And you guys might never have heard the story of Bill. No, I don't think so. It is a local story, but there is this story that some guy named Bill once lived here on this land where I am going to build my house that is totally going to be amazing by the way. But anyways Bill was a pretty great guy, but the thing that he didn't really have was luck with him, and he heard all these stories about some sword in the mountains. And at first he really didn't believe the stories of that very sword but he heard a lot of different stories. And as you guys might not know Bill, I didn't know him either but from even more stories. Bill was a really curious young man and he wanted to know the truth but he shouldn't be that curious. But anyways guys. I am preparing myself to this thing and I am just going to build a nice cozy house where I am just going to chill and then I just hope that there are no really mad monsters at the night and if there aren't really monsters around then I can feel safe and when I can feel safe then can feel great and then it is all going to be nice and stuff. So now I am just going to finish this house and then when it is finished from the outside then I could place some cute furniture in this amazing looking house. It is basically a log cabin only then it is and made from logs but it is made from cut logs and it is basically just a small wooden block as we had a bit earlier this week so that is pretty great I guess. But anyways we are going to finish our little wooden block and then it will look great and I would not care about the haters because it is not a wood block anymore with all this wood log things on top of it. So, jokes on all of you haters out there, but I knew that this was coming and you guys didn't know so the jokes are really on you. British thermal unit yeah, this roof is going to look just amazing and I hope that it will match the house which I think it will so I am not really that worried about that part but I do need myself to build some windows in my house in just a minute but the inside will come so I am not even worried about that but I just need to do this and then my body will be dry when it rains my great looking roof will then protect me from the bad weather that is around here and it already looks pretty great and I am also going for that look from the wall that the top block of the wall is also going to have a roof bit placed over it which personally I think that those things look amazing so now we are just going to put some furniture in when we are done with the windows and the windows are pretty great I can just see all of the things that are near my cozy house coming and then I could prepare myself if a horde of zombies would come at me or something I am not sure what could happen but yeah this house is already looking cozy with his little furnace and the big chest some light and it is basically settled I would put a bed down but I don't think I have thought this all the way through their is and really much room to put a bed down and I don't think there is enough room to maw an attic so the ceiling will just need to provide us so now we have a pretty cozy house the only thing that is really missing is a door or something like that something along the lines of a door would be pretty nice so the cold would stay out but a painting is a pretty good idea as well but I don't really want such a big one I am not sure why they are only giving me these big ones but yeah they look great but they are just a little bit too big so let just change this up a bit if I do this then it will register that there is a block there and that there can be a painting right there and this is also not working so I need to place three wood slabs to just put one painting down which is not really that great and I think that I have to do this three times so two times more which is not really that great but I mean what has to be done has to be done so just like that we have a new smaller painting up on the wall and it looks fantastic if I do say so myself and now it is time to put just one more down and then the house looks amazing fantastic it is done and now I can start living in here well that is if we are going to place a door in the door frame which I put down because there need to be doors right there a bed would be cool and I can always try try to fur it somewhere and I think that this little corner is just great it is and no king size bed but the person that wants to sleep over just needs to build a little shed or he needs to bring his own bed or something so another great accessory in this game is the armor stand with iron armor or something like that gold is also pretty cool you can really do anything else with gold so it is just great if you have armor made out of something that you don't really need and that it still looks amazing but I mean armor is really easy to find and I don't really need more iron so I mean 
why not just make it out of iron, I don't really like gold that much so I mean silver is just amazing, and these birch doors are looking like doors of a shed, so now our house is a shed but I don't really care. We have a door and a sign right now so I am really happy. But I am already done with Casa de Sub so that is just great, and no noobs were allowed I don't know if you guys saw the sign but yeah if you are a noob. Then I am really sorry but you are not allowed in my shed, I only want the sharpest tools in my shed. And somebody once told me, the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. And now you guys need to sing along. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming fed to the rules and I hit the ground running, didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb. So much to do so much to see so what wrong with taking the back streets you will never know if you don't go you will never shine if you don't glow but yeah i am not sure what that thing here in this cave is with those torches but i think it has something to do with build the hero of this video well we are not going to see him hopefully because he is pretty dead but i think this is it guys yeah this must be it it all adds up now obsidian redstone torches and a chest in the middle well i am going to take the risk and i am going to take the thing that is inside of the chest and i think that i already know what is inside the chest but first i really need to make an exit but i mean this thing that is inside is just too powerful to run with so i think that i am going to be a man and not plan an exit but i am just going to take the sword that boo once held as well and i don't think i finished that story did i well anyways guys this story is really great, if you guys have some popcorn then you guys came prepared but to the guys that don't have popcorn pause this video and get just a bit of popcorn right now. Or if you have some chips and stuff that is also great. So yeah, the story. Wait you didn't take your popcorn? Okay then, go ahead mate. You are a true rebel. But yeah. This rebel right here that didn't take any popcorn or something else to eat is going to be bummed out when he hears this amazing story and he does and have any popcorn. But anyways guys, let proceed, now shall we? Well this sword is really great as you can see. But Bill the guy that I was talking about once heard from the local villagers that there was a sword somewhere deep down in a cave. There was obsidian and some redstone torches, and in the middle, there was this chest. No one dared to open the chest. There might have been ghost inside of the chest or something else. No villager was sure about that. So, they just didn't open the chest and they lived happily ever after. But great stories were told that the thing that was inside the chest was a giant that would protect you for life. But the other villager would tell you that if you opened the chest a witch would come out of her swamp house and hunt you for good. And that there was no escaping the witch. So, Bill was not really sure what he heard when he was in the village. And as I said in the beginning of the video, from other stories from those same villagers that had aged over the years told me when I visited that Bill was a really brave and curious guy and he would enjoy helping the villagers out so he did just that. And all by himself he went to the cave, he searched for a bit and he was just mining and stuff, and he has some valuable things in his inventory but then eventually he came across this thing that matched the description of what the wise villagers gave him about that chest that was in the middle of some obsidian and with the spooky red stone torches on top of the obsidian. So now that Ben was there he opened the chest without thinking. And of the first look there was nothing inside so he already felt like he had just been hyped by nothing. But then a shining light came out of the chest and it was a sword. He came in for a closer look and it was a diamond sword. And it didn't yet have anything on it except for some sharpness enchantment. So Bill was pretty happy with what he had found but he didn't know what would happen to him yet. So he exited the cave slowly with testing out the sword on the mobs that he would encounter on the way. And then he had some meat and some stuff that he took off the dead mobs that he killed with his new sword. And he was really happy and stuff. But when he came up on the normal level then he realized that he couldn't and find his house anymore. And he was walking around in circles for the last three hours, without even realizing what he was doing. So, something what the villagers must have been right he thought in his head, and he was still not sure what it was but he was feeling strange and he didn't really know what to do. But he insisted that he was going to find his house eventually. Maybe the circles that he was walking in got bigger and bigger or something he told himself. But nothing of that was true. The only thing in his inventory was the sword some building blocks, which weren't enough to build a comfortable house, and some rotten flesh and a spider eye, 
so he did what anyone would do when they would be in such a position and he was really hungry so he started to make a crafting table out of the last wood that he had and he held two blocks of wood in his inventory to eventually light those blocks and maybe make some better rotten flesh, maybe some well done rotten flesh, so he did just that and he thought it was delicious but after the meal he went to sleep in the open, he just dug a little hole where he could sleep in so he would really be that cold thanks to the wind so, he was lying there in some hole so now he was just sleeping and he didn't really feel safe or anything but he needed sleep and if he didn't go to sleep then he knew that something like the WOULDN have a positive effect on his body and mental strength so he decided that it was night and it was the best thing to do but when he woke up his sword was removed from his inventory and he didn't know where to start looking maybe his head was so weirded out that he didn't remember where he placed the sword and he WAS and able to fly like we are doing right now but he was unable to do that and he needed to do it the ancient way and he didn't really have much left in his inventory all the food was gone the wood was gone and now the sword was gone as well so that was really not nice but he did have a spider eye though so that was great he would duct tape that spider eye to his back and now he could look behind him no just kidding he did not actually do that but he would keep the spider eye in his inventory in case of that he was really hungry and that the spider eye would help him to survive but now the only thing in his inventory were some blocks and that spider eye so he quickly thought by himself that it was necessary to get some wood so he started to punch some trees and he began with nothing once again and it was all going great but after he gathered some wood he came across this cave and he c-o-u-l-d and really remember what it was but he felt attracted to that cave and in his mind there were things going around that there were treasures and stuff in the cave but he answered and none of those things were true but then all of a sudden he saw this chest with some obsidian around it and yes you guessed it there were also redstone torches on top of the obsidian so as he was a brave young man he opened the chest and what was in there? It was a sword. A strange sword with the name Tag Haunted Sword. And he really didn't remember what happened last night so this was all new to him and that is just weird because he already lived that day and he took that sword just under 24 hours ago. But will C-O-U-L-D-N remember nothing of that. So now he went out of the cave and he didn't have anything to eat. But he was not feeling well. He W-A-S and sure what it was but he decided that it would be best to kill those sheep that were across of him. And he killed three of them but he didn't get three wolves. So, he decided to punch some trees and he got some wood for a crafting table. Some blocks left to make a bed. And then he also had that wool. So, he decided just to not make a big pillow but just a small pillow. And it worked out for him. He was able to sleep in it. But he didn't feel like sleeping yet. So, he decided that it would be best to just make that bed place it down and then just explore a bit so he would know where he was at the next morning. It was still day so there was no light to waste and he didn't waste no natural light and he headed out and he saw some house. He didn't know what house it was but it was built out of wood which were his favorite houses and he would also always make houses out of wood and he decided to walk to the house and look if someone was inside to maybe help him out or maybe if someone was not around then he could just sneak in and steal some supplies. Normally he would never do that but when he got closer all of a sudden he was feeling really hot and the house was on fire. He was not sure how the fire started but he was able to get out and he was out and then he just looked at the house and he saw this light on top of that house and it was a sword and he looked in his inventory and all of a sudden the sword in his inventory was gone and now it was on top of the house but surely he C-O-U-L-D-N climb a burning house just for a sword. But he C-O-U-L-D-N think right and without thinking about the consequences he climbed the house and he took the sword. It was really hot up there but he got the sword. What now? He didn't know but he jumped 3D of the house and now he was lying there on the floor with a broken left leg. And he knew by then that it W-A-S and a really smart idea to jump off the house. But anyways, he could finally sleep. But when he was sleeping he had this really weird dream that felt like a divu. You guys probably know what that is. Is, it is a feeling that you have already lived that moment and now you are living it again but Bill had that and he felt like his dream was reality and it actually was and in his dream 
He also walked to that same obsidian thing with the chest. But now he had all kinds of stuff in his inventory and he decided that he didn't care if the obsidian would be destroyed or not so he just placed a bunch of TNT and he blew the place up and it felt so good. But some say that he never woke up from that dream and that his soul got attached to that sword which he blew up in his dream. And he would never get out of that dream and it was a circle that would never be broken until someone took that sword and that someone had to also be as brave as Bill. And now I am not sure if that someone was me but I didn't feel weird or anything. So goodbye guys, don't ever take a sword that has the name tag haunted.